fresh episode of Outdoors with T. Indoors today, we got these common puff balls here. And I just took a toothbrush to them and rinsed them with a little bit of water, get the dirt off. And then I kind of had fun doing this part. I sliced them really thin. And. I haven't tried the commons yet. I've tried pear shaped and the giants. So I've got a little bit of butter going right here. So I don't want to take from the flavor of these mushrooms at all. Just using a little bit of butter today. And I sliced them real thin so they'll cook up quick. And they turned out really pretty. I mean, take a look at that. And that's what you want when you're slicing these out all white through the whole thing in the center. And that's a... All puff balls are pure white in the center like that. That's what you want. Really pretty. Really fun slicing it. Really reminded me of any other mushroom, even a commercial mushroom, a button mushroom or a portabella. It kind of had that similar feel to it. I had a lot of fun slicing it out, actually. So yeah, trying a new mushroom today. Excited about that. The pear-shaped puffballs are a lot tastier than the giant puffballs, in my opinion. Giant puffballs aren't my favorite. Got a tofu, real foamy material. They do do a good job of taking on the flavor or whatever you season them with. So I'm sure there's a lot of different ways to try it, which I've seen that could make it better. So, definitely recommend giving that a try on the Giants. But I wanted to share this experience with you guys. I love trying up new things. Oh yeah, we're getting a little brown now, guys. something else I wanted to share with you guys real quick why those were cooking up so I had an awesome find while mushroom hunting so I found this old soda bottle super thick I'd say it's at least 50s or older um, it says 
Bever Race, Bev Race, Boone, Iowa. So there was an ice cream shop there a long time ago. And I guess they made real soda back in the day. And that was that. And then I found one of these blue balls. Perfect Mason. Not broken. Gonna clean those up. Pretty cool. So my scores. Comment on the video any cool uh, finds you guys have. I got a bunch of sheds and some neat skulls. All part of, fun part of the hunt. You know, sometimes you're not finding mushies and yeah. Gotta stay busy, so I'm always trying to find stuff cool like that. I was on the subject, so I got this 1950 Pepsi Cola bottle I found this summer too. Really cool. And this is a 1960s 7 Up bottle. I don't know if you can read the 7 Up across there. But there it is on the neck too. So those are a couple other cool scores I found. All right, I'm gonna kick this heat off. These look really good and done. Taste test on the common puffball. I really like how the texture is on this one compared to the giant. Definitely like how it holds its composure. I'm just going for it. A big old bite here, guys. I'm not afraid of these puffballs. I've tried the pear shaped and the giants. Not bad. Definitely better than the Giants. Not my favorite mushroom. Mm. Definitely took on the flavor of what I flavored it with real well. Good. Get out there, guys. Give it a try. Hey, guys. It's Addy here. So, I just wanted to let you know that we tried these, like, common mushrooms. And I mean, uh, common puffballs. Yep. Yeah, common puffballs. And um, I really like them. They're really at the like they're at the top of my list. They're definitely in my like top ten. They're really good. Yeah. So yeah, coming from my daughter. They may have not been my favorite, but she puts them towards the top of her list. So I just wanted to add that on there and hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up if you did. And think about subscribing if you haven't. You know I'll be out there hunting down some more mushies before too long. Love y'all. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch you on the next one. Tommy signing out.